hi guys welcome back to our channel today we will be talking about another celebrity in the industry who just escaped it just recently yeah on an instagram post recently sak hoji had um left a caption saying it's not my time yet he also shared a miraculous story against it guys that's the gist for today before we go deeply into the matter let's know who this sak hoji really is zak hoji is no new name in nollywood he is a legendary actor filmmaker director producer philanthropist and entrepreneur this man has featured in more than 250 movies this famous actor was born on october 10 1960 in laborville gabon he grew up in cameroon togo and the benin republic all in west africa he is the eldest child in the family of seven children um guys we actually know that you know when we are growing up when children are growing up they have passions for things they want to do you know you will hear a child say i want to be a pilot i want to be this i want to be that uh actually most times parents have um they do play a major role in what a child wants to become in life you hear some parents say i want my child to be a nice i want my child to be a doctor and so many other parents saying different things that they want their children to do in the like of sack og his father had actually wanted him to study medicine guys that is just what his father wanted him to study but due to his you know absent when they were writing their exams he was automatically disqualified from what he intended to study okay guys so after that after he had completed his primary education he moved to nigeria where he joined the university of nigeria in Suka, where he graduated with a bachelor degree in estate management this man has done a lot of things to survive you know immediately he finished his statutory institution he went into shoemaking yeah you know when we finish from school most persons do not just have that ability of you know furthering their studies immediately or having an um, opportunity to work in one place or the other so what you do is just to find something you can do at least to meet up your daily needs and wants so sak hoji when he had actually finished you know his tertiary institution he had to go into some manual works to find himself daily needs things he wants for himself yeah he went into shoemaking however his shop was broken into and several items were stolen honestly that is that has become the major work in nigeria that has become the major thing guys do now instead of going into you know hustling their own money just the same way every other person does they sit and wait till when it's night they go around robbing people and taking their items things that are very valuable to people things they used to survive that has always been the case here so sack og has has never been an exemption of this you know habit of people breaking into people's shop and taking things as time goes on he actually developed interest and passion for acting at a young age his debut was in the film known as unforgiving scene in 1991 since then this our actor has featured in more than 200 movies which is a huge accomplishment just like i have said this our actor has ventured in so many movies such as head guns christ mass is coming um games women play women Men's cut the blue kingdom three wise men and so many others that time won't permit me to bring to your notice so guys actor zach has actually been credited with so many awards you know he has earned accolades in so many with so many awards you know when i say people are being credited with award it means you've been able to do something you've been able to be outstanding in the point that um these people feel that this person deserves a gift he deserves a, an award for the work he has done well so due to his hard work good performance and the this man has won so many awards sak oji is married and has three children the wife is called um ngozi oji and um, well my people that is all i have to say for now sending zak oji and his family so far i believe i have been able to give you guys a head up on who zak really is so guys back to the gist of today but before we go deeply into um our today's topic let's do the usual exercise please click on the red button subscribe like and comment on this video and please turn on your notification bell so that whenever we drop a new video you'll be the first to see it okay for those of you joining us new we're actually talking about zak oji's recent escape from death yeah he took to his instagram post um, page just recently you know posting that it's not yet it's time to leave us that and he had actually narrated some stories concerning what had happened to him that would have led to his death so guys i will be telling you um deeply on what has actually happened to zach og that made a lot of nigerians you know um 
shiver if he is actually late because some persons came out and was asking questions is is akoji really alive or he's dead and stuff like that so guys in a recent post on instagram sagoji has actually posted um some pictures of himself with the caption it's not my time yet in an interview on channel tv sagoji narrated his near death experience i underwent two brain surgeries in nigeria after i slumped in the bedroom i can only say that by the grace of god that i'm alive today because i passed out i was out for about five and a half house before help came evidently my friend bala hamid was in the uk at the time and the people in the house called him to say we've been knocking on his door since morning and we've not been able to receive any response so he called another colleague benedict johnson who rushed to the house and i was there on the floor oh he rents i couldn't even stand because when he raised me i slumped again and he had to call another colleague the two of them lifted me on their shoulder from the second floor to the ground floor and took me to the national hospital my wife flew him from lagos because all this happened in abuja on the 29th of december and met me in the hospital on the 1st of january the first surgery was carried out on me you can still see the mark i kept going for different types of scan i went for another scan and they discovered that there was still some residue clots in my brain so they had to do a second surgery they were able to scoop out all the blood clots and i spent some time recovering and it was recommended that i come to the uk for post-surgery assessment in all of it i am grateful to god almighty and i'm also grateful to so many people who stepped in the president of nigeria the first lady the wife to the vice president the president's son and a whole lot of pe many people i'm alive today by god's exceeding great and mercy through the people he used to be of assistance to me here yeah, i am strong and healthy and of a sound mind too thank god that it's not my time yet guys that has been the caption and the you know the near dead experience that sakoji has actually come out to tell us that he is so thankful to god and to many persons that god used to touch his life to save him from dying you know it would have been another sad incident hearing that another celebrity is gone a few days after we lost Ibo and now um junior pope and now we will be talking about sakoji we so much thank god for the life he has given to this man we are so grateful to god because it's all he's doing no man no, not even the money could have saved him if not that god had to step in you know to bring him back to life because just like he had said it's not yet his time and for those of us that like you know um, posting him things on social media whenever a celebrity is not in good health you see people coming out to post different stupid things like uh, this celebrity is dead i don't know why you're doing that whether you're doing these things to get um trends you know to get followers to get viewers to get likes and comments i don't know why you are doing that because that is not a good news that is not a good omen why will you be um praying for someone to die when the person is not dead maybe the person is hospitalized and you're now coming out to tell the masses that this person is dead and what do you expect well, by the time this person comes out to be like oh see me here everybody will start to the run say eh, and i goes be that you don't die you don't die stuff like that that is not a good one so guys please let's stop these stupid things we are doing online because it's not it's not giving a good name to us at all it doesn't promote the the industry at all so thank you so much to everybody he had actually said in a post on twitter that um the agn um, president has actually stood behind him in all this i really thank the president rulers for what he has done and so many other persons that he has mentioned that helped him that touched his life in one way or the other i so much thank you all and i pray that god will reward you abundantly because that is the only person that can reward you without asking for anything in return so guys that is just that about that we've heard everything we've seen everything but in case you've not seen this post of zako j on instagram please do yourself the favor of searching for it and you will definitely get the storyline and you will know that i'm not coming out here to tell you guys fake news or whatever it is but all thanks to god that this actor is still alive and we so much thank god that he has been able to you know come out and tell us that he is still very strong and healthy which means he will continue um, gracing our screen with different performance of ease thank you guys for staying up with me i really appreciate your time but please before you leave do yourself the usual exercise click on the bell subscribe like and comment and drop your comment in the comment section and don't forget to turn on your notification bell so that whenever we drop a video you'll be the first to see thanks guys and stay tuned for our next update